Hello, today I'm going to unbox the new Rock 4SE single board computer. Inside, the device comes in an ESD bag to protect against static whilst in transit. And inside, there is an instruction card with a QR code that you can scan. As you can see, there is a 40 pin GPIO connector and each of the GPIO connect connections have a different color here. So you can tell the type of connector it is. Here, there is a headphone jack and this headphone jack actually allows for stereo out and microphone in. So if you have a pair of headphones, they've got a mic attached to them, it will actually pick up that sound. There's a Wi-Fi module and a Bluetooth module located here in this chip. And this is where the antenna is. There is a display port connector here and a camera port connector here. There is USB-C port located here. And this is the part that actually powers the board and it supports power delivering quick charge mode so the board will negotiate with the power supply for a higher voltage and the beauty of that is that it can actually result in reduced current consumption here is the hdmi at 4k display 60 frames per second and also another interesting thing if you notice there's es the components scattered around the board as you can see here and the beauty of these electric static discharge protection components is that if you're walking around on the floor with socks on and then you touch your board this can sometimes cause damage and these help to prevent that and then you will see here there are four usb ports usb 2 and usb 3 the USB 2 ports and the lower USB 3 actually share a regulator which can provide 1.44 amp regulator of current. And the top port up here, the upper USB 3 port, has its own dedicated regulator. So the beauty of that is if you've got a mobile phone you want to power, you can use that dedicated port so it is not shared with anything else. Then here you'll notice there's a slide and this slide switch can configure the mode of the upper USB port as either USB on the go or as host mode. And then you'll see there is a Ethernet here and power over Ethernet is located here. Then on the other side you'll see there is a real time clock. So this allows you to shut down all of the board and save power. And if you were to set an alarm signal, when that goes off, it would wake up the processor to do its task. Then you can send it back to sleep or you can save power. But you will need to attach here a three volt power supply. And this could be USB or it could be coin battery. Along this part here, you'll notice an M2 connector. So you can put external hard disks in the size of a process stamp. And then here you've got your micro SD connector. And then along here, you've got your connector to put an EMMC connector on. Because as you know, SD cards can often get corrupted and have short life cycles quite often. And it, this is more robust. For and better for industry. Then you've got the Rock chip RK339T, which is a hexa-core processor with a dual cortex arm processor A72 clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, along with a quad cortex A53 running at 1 gigahertz speed. Then you've got your RAM. These chips are dual channel 4 gigabyte LPDDR RAM, which is ideal as it gives higher bandwidth. And that is an overview of the board. 
that is the end of the unboxing video and don't forget to check out the rock for se on the website